Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here at Stefano at the Giochi Uniti booth yeah. in Nuremberg looking at Schönbrunn. Yes. Uh, uh, mock up right now, not a final produced game. This is the final production except for cards and rule books because these are the English components, but the game is in Italian. Okay. So we just produced for as a mock up English components to show them to the game to partners, international okay. partners. Uh, so maybe give an overview of what we are doing in the game. Yeah, this is a Ooh. game about the Congress of Wien. A uh, very important gathering for European history, uh, which took place after Napoleonic Wars. Mm -hmm. So, in that time, in 1815, uh, the six major powers of that time, European powers, gathered in Austria, in the castle of Schönbrunn, which is also the name of the game, to decide how it's going to look Europe after Napoleonic Wars. Okay. So, mainly you have this uh, board, which is also the original plant of the castles. Okay. of the castle, so you have the garden outside and different chambers. And in each chamber, there is some negotiation is going on. So there are negotiation tables. Mm -hmm. So you have cards at stake in each chambers, different decks for, the, for, it, for each chamber. Okay. And there will be treaties, uh, victory points, allies, agreements. So you want to get the best as you can from okay. this negotiation. How to do that? Simple, just you will send your delegates in your space at the table, for example, here we are handling the UK delegates. You send them to the UK space, but some of them are going to be open. Some of them are going to be covered. Okay. And since you also have some zero, maybe it's better to have the zero facing down. And at the end of the round, you see where you have the, the, the most powers, power, power in the chambers, and you will get cards. Okay. So it's interesting because it, this game is uh, totally asymmetrical. I mean, each power has the same uh, power, influence power. In, I mean, the total value is the same, right. but it's split totally differently. Okay. So for example, Spain has the big seven, but a lot of, let's say, less strong uh, delegates. Great Britain, UK has one more delegate, but it's at zero, okay. so it could be a bluff. Right. And then each powers also, power also has uh, special abilities they can act trigger during the game. Okay. Uh, so what are we doing with the cards when we acquire them? Yeah, what mainly do over the long run? you will collect cards trying to get sets because they will be victory points at the end of the game. But sometimes you can also uh, hire new allies and they will help you in the next round to have more power and for influence to the next okay. chamber rooms. Okay. And how long does the game last? Six rounds? Or? It's like six rounds, mainly one hour of gameplay. Okay. Uh, it's really deep and let's say that it is really historically accurate. So everything is really uh, like also the artwork really represent the historical characters. Like uh, for France we have Tagliron or we have Metternich for Austria. And also, also the st all the stamps are really, all, all the artwork is really precise. And you also have an interesting mechanism where that means then when you doesn't get anything, don't get anything from any chamber, mm -hmm. the second best also gets something from the middle. So it's the okay. equilibrium principle, which was one of the most important uh, innovation from the, from the, the Congress of Wien. Okay, all right. Well, thank you very much for the quick overview. Thank you. Oh, That's Schoenbrunn. Schoenbrunn. Thank you, Stefano. You're welcome. Hi.